Hi, this is Craig Reese, your Deer Valley Specialist from right here in Park City on uh, Park Avenue. Today's the opening of the High West Distillery. It's the uh, first legal Utah distillery since 1870 in the state of Utah. Now, in Park City, back when the miners were here, there were a lot of distilleries up in those hills where they were get, making moonshine, but this is 2009, and this is the first whiskey distillery sanctioned by the state of Utah, and it's built right here on Park Avenue, right across from the town lift in uh, Park City. And it's the only whiskey distillery with a restaurant that you can ski to in the entire world. Pretty nice. Yeah, this is the old uh, National Garage building right across from the uh, Kimball Arts Center. Because we run both those columns that you see right there, yeah, okay. um, we run them all full out and we get as high a pure whiskey as we can get, or vodka as we can get them. So on, on, on the whiskey, we'll bypass those columns. Oh, use, really? Yeah, we won't use them. The whiskey bypasses those columns. Oh. The vodka goes through those columns and that's how they're getting... How much whiskey are you making at once? Uh, we're making about, uh, it's a thousand liter beer at one time. And uh, what we get from that is we get about anywhere from 250 to 600 bottles of whiskey from that. It really depends on the product and how I do it. So it can vary quite a bit. How long does it take from the time you put your ingredients in until you put it in the bottle? Uh, it's about four days. Four days? Yeah, five days. Four or five days. And you're bottling everything right here? We're bottling everything in Salt Lake. Oh, in Salt Lake, okay. Yeah. The vodka takes about four or five days or so. Um, the whiskey has to mature for quite a long time, obviously. Is it aged in it's aged oak, yeah, just like that barrel back there. Uh -huh. right. And so you're going to be making rye whiskey, vodka, and what else? We're going to be doing uh, bourbon eventually. We'll do a, a scotch style whiskey too. Some malted barley whiskey. Where did all this equipment come from? Germany. German Germany? made. Uh -huh. German made. All right. It's pretty. It is, yeah. It is. This is educational. Yes, it is. Impressive equipment. Pete, inspector. Pete, how you doing? Good. So, Pete, give me your name. Pete Parker. And Pete, what are you going to be doing here at the distillery? I am the restaurant manager. Great. We can't wait to eat here. Your <laughs> reputation precedes you. And how's the kitchen? Set up well? Yes. Good. And it's going to be open to the public starting when? Uh, early December. Early December. So we're going to be rocking for the winter for all the tourists that are here? Yes, sir. And I understand it's the only distillery with a restaurant that you can ski to in the entire world. That's correct. And we may be giving some realtors some discounts, too. Now we're talking. I'm coming back. <laughs> so, Pete, what's in this room right here? This is a little bit different than what I've seen before. Okay, this room is actually, we, we call it the cozy. As you can see, it's rather cozy. Um, behind me is a wine dispensing system. Um, this particular wine dispensing system is made by a company called Winekeeper. Uh, it pumps uh, nitrogen or argon. In our case, we're pump, pumping nitrogen into the bottles. Um, what that does, is nitrogen being an inert gas, allows the wine to be kept as if it was never opened for up to six weeks. So we'll be selling wine by the one ounce taste, the three ounce half glass, and the five ounce glass as well, of course, by the bottle. We will open with about 50 wines that we'll be able to offer by the glass taste bottle. That's fantastic. So we're going to have homemade hooch, whiskey, rye, uh, uh, vodka, and we're going to have some premium wines for people to taste as well. Absolutely. Let's see the kitchen. Okay. Alright, so we've got uh, great wine, great whiskey, now the food. The food's going to be outstanding. This is James Dumas. Uh, James has got quite a history here in Park City. James, what's, what are some of the great restaurants that you've uh, operated while you've been here in Park City? Yeah, we started probably 15 years ago with Sesame, and then uh, opened up a, uh, another one called La Pache, and finished at the Golden Hirsch, all up in Deer Valley. And now it's... Uh, 
I'm, I'm, we're, we're down down on main level here in Park City on Main Street on Park Ave at High West Distillery. And this has been a work in progress for what, four years now? Is, yeah, Dave and Jane have been working on it for four years. I was fortunate to hook up with them about a year and a half to uh, two years ago and have uh, brought this baby up from, uh, from, from the first shovel to the last bit of paint. It's gorgeous. I heard that he paid about $1.4 million for the property and put another $3 million into it. I wish it was only $3 million. <laughs> I wish it was only $3 million. All right. <laughs> well, um, are you excited about your menu that you're uh, going to have We there? are. We are, yeah. The, uh, the menu is going to be ingredient driven. Uh, it's been my dream to always to change the menu as much as we can. The ingredient is going to drive that menu. Uh, there will be probably smoke throughout the whole menu. There's nothing better that goes on with that with that whiskey, parent whiskey, than uh, than smoked food. So we'll have a lot of. Uh, that's a smoker right that's there. A smoker right here. Okay, good. So smoked salmon, hot smoked duck. Sausages. There'll be a little foie gras, and uh, being trained in Switzerland, we're going to have a bunch of fondue and rocklet on the menu too. Now we're talking. Well, I tell you, uh, the word's going to get out on this place, and they'll be lining up out the door. So we'll see you this winter. Good luck. And you know what they say, Craig? Ski in, stagger out. Now we're talking. So James, I understand we have a custom-made ice machine for the whiskey. Yeah, it's, yeah. I don't want to say custom. We don't. We don't want to. We don't want to steal the light from. From cold draft, but it's okay. a uh, it's a company out there, and and Dave, being the whiskey aficionado that he is, said we had to find this perfect cube for our award-winning whiskey, and freezes hard, very little air, and melts very slowly. Were you saying there's a sensor in this machine? Yeah, that... it sort of freezes and shakes the ice, so all the air gets out of it. All right, so we have uh, square cubes for square our... cubes for the. Uh, the homemade for the, whiskey. For the spicy whiskey. Okay, so this was the opening party for the High West Distillery. And this house right next door is where the restaurant is. So be sure to stop here this winter as we watch Park City Crescent Moon set over there over the mountains. This will be a fun place to be this winter. So uh, bring your friends, come on by. Good food, good wine, good spirits. And you can ski in to the High West Distillery. So to put this location in perspective, I'm standing right under the town lift. And the distillery and restaurant is right there, right on the corner of uh, Park Avenue. High West Distillery. And again, the uh, restaurant is in the yellow house right next to it. Again, the only distillery in the world with a restaurant that you can ski to. Welcome to Park City.